welcome to our video. In this video, we're going to talk about snow leopards. Have you ever heard about snow leopards before? Jack Hanna once said, The snow leopard is absolutely magnificent. It represents really what endangered species are all about. Quick question. Can snow leopards roar? The answer is no. Unlike other large cats, snow leopards can't roar. They can mew, growl, yell, and push them. Push them also referred as chatting, which is a non-threatening vocalization made by blowing through their nose while their mouth is open. This video will be focusing on the appearance, habitat, food, breeding, threats, and conservation of snow leopards. Of course, we chose snow leopards as our topic because they are endangered, critically endangered. There's around 4,000 to 6,000 left in this world. Their number declined gradually in recent decades, mostly due to illegal hunting. The size of snow leopards is 4 to 5 feet with a tail up to 36 inches. They weigh about 60 to 120 pounds. The main feature of snow leopards are their powerful legs and long tail, which help them to jump and balance. They are in grey or creamy yellow colors, covered with greyish black spots. Next, we will be focusing on the habitat of snow leopards. Snow leopards have evolved to live in some of the hardest conditions on Earth. Steep slopes of mountains, freezingly cold environments, etc. They are most likely to be found in these following countries China, Bhutan, Nepal, India, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Russia, and Mongolia. When it comes to food, snow leopards mainly hunt on blue shoes and alpine ibex to make a living. The mating season of snow leopards starts from January and continues until March. The pregnant days are around 93 to 100 days, and cubs need 2 to 4 years to be mature enough to live independently. As we have mentioned before, illegal hunting threatens the life of snow leopards. This is due to the human to the wildlife conflicts. Local people poach them in order to take revenge for their livestock losses, as snow leopards have been preying on their livestock. There are also reports showing how precious their skin are. Their skin costs between 8,000 to 11,000 US dollar per animal, as well as their body parts can be used for traditional Chinese medicine as well, thus illegal trade occurs. There are many ways we can do to save the snow leopards. First, it is implementing effective policies, setting legal punishments and law for people who do wildlife hunting and animal exploitation can prevent further decline in the population of snow leopard. Second is to raise public awareness through education. Education can be done in many platforms such as newspaper, television, banners, advertisements, social media, and many more. And lastly, through science. Because no leopard's reproduction phase is not as fast as other animals, cloning can be done to increase the number of snow leopards in the earth. This is the end of this brief introduction of snow leopards. These are the resources that we use and thanks for watching.